Did you know that the spirit realm predates human existence? That in the beginning, creation process included void, darkness, waters, form, and the deep. That the divine spirit used all these to create plants, animals, and humanity. Did you know that Oludumari, the supreme being, created the universe and humanity? A process handed down to Obatala and concluded by Obdudua when they came the first time in spirit form. Ileife, the ancient Yoruba Empire is located in the southwestern part of Nigeria in Africa, the epicenter of the earth. Ileife, the holy city, the home of divinities and mysterious spirits, the source of all oceans and the gateway to heaven. The oldest palm tree in the world is in Okiagban Lugu quarters in Ileife, the home of Ifa. Human migration started from Ileife with the creation of empires by the children of Odudua, namely Oyo, Edo, Ilarogun, Owu, Ketu, Sabe, Oko. Did you know that the divine spirit originated from the epicenter and moved to the east, molded human forms and created the Garden of Eden. And then, human spirits moved back to the epicenter. Ileife, the land of expansion where Plagier existed, and the earth was in one shape and a single structure. At Platesa, the continent split in fragments and human language differed. Africa, the mother continent, remained solid, unbroken, and devoid of natural disaster. The wealth of the world is concentrated at the epicenter, and the center is the heritage of the whole black nation. Did you know that on the African continent, slavery became instrument for human migration, especially in Western Central Africa? North Africa was conquered by jihad and Islamization, while South Africa was enveloped in apathy. The colonial masters also fragmented West Coast into Francophone and Anglophone territories. Although we had ancient dialects, we were still one from a common heritage and shared a common source from the epicenter. Migration also occurred from Ifewara an offshoot of Ileife to Badagri to the rest of West Africa. Natives of Berefu are direct descendants from Ileife. Badagri became a staging point for the dispersion of blacks to the rest of the world, and specifically Berefu, where the point of no return is today a tourist destination. Elimina Castle in Ghana which is an area partly inhabited by Yoruba, was another major takeoff point of slaves to the diaspora. Badagri today still houses the slave market and the instruments of bondage used by the slave masters. Did you know that from Berefu, millions of Yorubas were dispatched to Cuba, to Haiti, to America, to Australia, to Brazil, to Argentina, to Puerto Rico, to Jamaica, to Mexico, to Venezuela, to Trinidad and Tobago, to Asia, to Antarctica, on top of the globe. The industrialization and development of all these places were done on the backs and sweat of black souls uprooted from Africa. Did you know? That Ileife is the city of 201 gods that form the spiritual canopy upon which generations of Yoruba prosper and multiply. The embodied power of divination, war, rainmaking, farming, procreation, and so on. The Orishas take various forms. Orumila exudes wisdom, while Ogun personifies the sanctity of iron and Olipo is the goddess of the oceans and seas. 
Ifa Olukun Soro Dayo. Ifa is Yoruba's greatest spiritual gift to mankind. It is the god of divination that foretells the destiny of men and nations. Contemporary thoughts liking the divination system of 16 Okpeles and mathematical probabilities to the binary system which is the basis of computer technology. Is it a coincidence that in logarithm there are 256 logs and in Ifa there are 16 Okpele, each having 16 Odu, all totaling 256? Is that a coincidence? The binary system uses intricate arrangements of zero, which is in Arkin to Oduifa's system. The concave or smooth sides of Opele knots is represented as F. The concave side is two strokes, one in binary, and the convex side is a stroke, zero in binary. Oluku, regarded as the goddess of the oceans and the seas, was one of the 400 deities sent by Oludumari to occupy the progenesis esoteric world. She lived both spiritually and physically as the wife of Odudua during Odudua's second coming, Ife Oyelago. Did you know? that Ileife was already a settlement of substantial size between the 12th and the 14th century. It is a fountain of ancient naturalistic bronze, stone and terracotta sculptures, which reached their peak of artistic expression between 1200 AD and 1400 AD. In the period around 13,000 CE, the artist at Ife developed a refined and naturalistic sculpture tradition of terracotta, stone and copper, alloy and bronze, many of which were created under patronage of King Obalufo II. Ancient Ife is famous for its glass beads which has been found as far away as Mali, Mauritania and Ghana. The most iconic Ife art form is the Olokun head, which is an ancient artifact dug out in 19th century but disappeared into the European hands. It is today replicated in all art forms all over the world. Did you know that the Imperial Majesty and the spiritual head of the Yoruba nation is the Onirisha, a descendant and successor of Odudua. Odudua was the first Onirisha. The throne he ascended when he came back the second time to the earth in human form. Today in Ileife, when light first illuminated the earth, the 51st Onirisha sits on the throne. On the 7th of December 2015, as it is the will of Olutumare, the omnipotent, and Odudua, the progenitor of the entire Yoruba race, the Ari crown, our symbol of absolute sovereignty, was bestowed by God on a young prince, who now became His Imperial Majesty, Adiyeye Babatunde Enita Okuwusi Ojaja II and he sat on the throne of Odudua as the Onirisha. Ileife will never be the same again. His energy was immediately directed 
towards a quest for peace and unity amongst brother custodians of our ancient kingdoms. From the warm embrace of the Alafi of your empire, to the Aujale of Ijebu kingdom, the Alake of Egbalang, the Ulu of Wari, the Ogusiwa of Mudakeke, and many more, the message of peace and unity became a mantra of his reign. These visits were epochal because of the decade-long lukewarm bond evident amongst traditional rulers in Yoruba land. The goodwill train moved to the presidency as the Adimula paid a courtesy visit to the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the president of the Nigeria's upper legislative chambers, the Senate. A cardinal trust of all his reign is to link hands with nations and a clarion call for peace and unity across the globe. Hence, a major interaction was staged in the Nigeria's capital, Abuja, at the Cuban ambassador's residence, attended by excellencies from over 80 countries. The thrust of Onyo Fife's message and exhortation at the forum is for nations to promote the idea of a more aggressive quest to peace, unity, enhancement of human dignity, welfare of billions of people, reduction in violence and warmongering. The ambassadors were highly impressed by Onyo Fife's passion for humanity and sustenance of our planet. The Oni of Ife also received in his palace in Ileife ambassadors from Tanzania, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire, Sierra Leone, Brazil, Kenya, Liberia, and Togo, all in a bid to promote global peace and unity amongst Africans and the entire humanity. An accountant by vocation, the Onirisha is a major player in the Nigerian economic space as an investor and entrepreneur. Pre-ascension to the throne, he had wide-range interest in various sectors of the Nigerian economy. He has invested heavily in a world-class resort center bounded by the oceans and the seas and constructed 2,500 housing units with various consortiums of developers over the years. He facilitated steel galvanizing plants in Nigeria and mining companies. He is a director of various mortgage and financial institutions. He also founded the Rice Farmers Association of Nigeria to discourage the dependency of our people on imported rice. Since ascension to the throne of his forefathers, the promotion of human dignity and welfareism through empowerment has been his major focus. Accordingly, 20,000 widows from communal wars are currently being processed for vocational empowerment with weekly benefits for their upkeep. 200,000 youths have been engaged for mechanized farming of cocoa products, a forgotten agricultural product which was a mainstay in time past. 30 square miles of arable land has been acquired in Ileife area for investment in cocoa, palm oil and rubber plantation. Units of mass transit buses to enhance transportation has been commissioned. Work has also commenced on the multi-billion Ife Grand Resort, covering 1,000 acres of land in anticipation of the immense upsurge of tourists to Ileife from all over the world. His Imperial Majesty has a total passion for culture, tradition and history of our race. Hence, traditional sites and important spiritual enclaves which had existed since the beginning of time are being renovated all over Ileife and the ceremonial worships revived. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has also honored the Oni by his prestigio as the Chancellor of the prestigious University of Nigeria, Nsuka, and was awarded Doctor of Public Administration Honoris Causa by the institution. It was pomp and pageantry in the house of Odudua when Kabiesi was joined in royal wedlock to a jewel of inestimable value, Olori Wuraola, who is also poised to champion the interest of women in the kingdom. I have the honor in presenting to you an outstanding personality, the custodian of the Yoruba culture and tradition, an internationally acknowledged business icon, a reincarnate of Odudua and the father of the Yoruba nation, His Imperial Majesty, Alayelua Oba Doctor Adeyeye Babatunde Enita Ogusi Ojaja the Second, the Oni of Ife, the Arule of Odua, the Crusader of Peace and Unity amongst all men. Otisheshe.